It's the Geelong Cats versus the Brisbane Lions, Saturday night, 5.15pm at the MCG. I'll be there for the preliminary final. Now, Geelong took an easier path into the preliminary final with their demolition of Port Adelaide a fortnight ago. Brisbane, on the other hand, had an epic comeback against GWS last week. 44 points down halfway through the third quarter to come back and cause an epic boil over. Now, when it comes to this week, Geelong will need to out-hunt Brisbane which means getting their hands on the ball first. Brisbane love to move the ball by foot. They are the number one kicking team in 2024 and get it into their forward 50 as often as possible. This gives Danaher, Hipwood, Cameron, Rayner and Bailey the opportunity to convert more times than often. However, the challenge for Brisbane is that they've had their yips in front of goal at times in 2024. Another issue for Brisbane is their ranking of 17th in the league for tackling. So if they don't get their hands on the opposition, it is going to make it a lot harder for them to stop. They'll need to ramp this up. Otherwise, Geelong's midfield and high half forwards, including Dangerfield, Duncan, Holmes, Myers and Close will have a field day moving it forward into their lethal forward line. Now, good luck to Harris Andrews and the rest of the Lions backs in stopping Cameron, Stengel, Manor, Neil, and Dempsey from blowing out the scoreboard. And if the Lions midfield don't apply enough pressure to the ball carry in the middle of the ground, this is going to occur. So if I were coaching the Cats, I'd deploy defensive forward onto Dane Zorko, especially if he starts at half back. He's lethal by foot and acts as a barometer for the Lions. I'd also instruct whoever is playing on Eric Hipwood to run off them as much as possible. I'd even probably put Stewart onto him, given Hipwood's poor final series and the suspected injury cloud he's under. Now, if this is true, it should be exploited as much as possible. I'd also consider tagging Ashcroft, especially if he starts to get off the chain. Lockie Neal is the obvious choice for attention, but he might be hampered by his heel injury. And Dunkley isn't as damaging on the outside as Ashcroft is. And if you need any further proof, go back and watch Ashcroft's second half against GWS last week. It was exceptional. On the flip side, if I were coaching the Lions, I'd make sure someone is on Dangerfield's hip at stoppages every single time. He's a clearance beast, averaging five a game this season. You don't want Geelong getting any easy ball on the outside, especially if it's going towards Max Holmes. And that's another player that I would tag. He's had a brilliant 2024 and was close to best on ground in the qualifying final against Port. He leads Geelong in total disposals and handballs this season and often uses his pace to extract from the clearance and follow up. He's a link man between the mids and the forwards. This could be a great matchup for Hugh McCluggage. I'd love to see these two go into a head-to-head -head battle. I'd also ensure Harris Andrews to take control of the back line and mark Jeremy Cameron. Brisbane's best defender needs to stop Geelong's best forward, something the Lions failed to do last week with Jesse Hogan, which nearly backfired. Finally, I'd instruct the midfielders and high half forwards to keep Myers and Close in their vision at all times and stifle their run. Legally, of course, whenever they can. Geelong is the number one team for inside 50s this season, and if you can stop those two, you'll disrupt the way Geelong wants to play. So who wins? Well, Brisbane have won the last two encounters, and my heart would love to see Chris Fagan's boys get over the line and back into their second consecutive grand final. But after the energy it took to claw back from 44 points down last week, and with the suspected injury clouds over key players like Hipwood and Neil, my head says Geelong. The Cats have had the extra week off. Some might say it was too, considering the port game, and they've timed their run perfectly. I'm tipping the Cats by 28 points, sending them into their second grand final in three years. So am I right or am I wrong? Leave a comment below. I'll be back next week with my grand final preview. Make sure to like and subscribe because it's Lace Out. It's how you want your footy.